Good morning, everybody. I know it has been a very, very long time since I've last posted a vlog for you, but I'm here to do that. Um, I just all of a sudden woke up. I had a lot to do today, but I was like, okay, well, I have a dinner tonight and I have to put makeup on. So I figured I would just do a little get ready with me, like an updated makeup routine, a little update on my skin situation. And yeah, so let's just dive right in. Um, my skin has been very good. I've been taking 100 milligrams of spironolactone um, since that was allowed while nursing, but I'm not nursing anymore, but it was allowed. So I started taking that a few months ago. It seems to have really helped with my cystic acne. Again, I really wanted to avoid like prescription medication, but when it came down to it, I was like, I can't live with these lumps on my face anymore. And I didn't want to do Accutane and it was so limiting what I could do while I was breastfeeding. Anyway, so I'm gonna to try to see if I can wean off of this beer and lactone um, now that I'm done nursing and see how my skin does. This is a little update. I just did Morpheus 8 and a little IPL all over my acne scars. So all of this like little redness and all these little dots that you see, well, these dots are the acne scars, but all the little dots around is from the Morpheus, which is basically like a micro needling laser in one. It's like high frequency and needles that go in your face. So that's why I have so much texture. My skin feels rough. I also have a zit here, which I don't know. That's not a cystic zit. I don't know where that came from, but that's there as well. So that's like a little update on my skin. So I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's just a matter of getting rid of these scars, which takes time and that's it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was doing microneedling, some lasers for that, and that's basically it. But let's dive in. I have a dinner tonight, but I obviously am not gonna do an evening look because it is midday. So I'm gonna do like a light look that I can build. I'm gonna start with a little bit of hourglass primer, especially with my pores kind of open. I mean, I did this three days ago, which you're allowed to wear makeup now, but still, it's like you need primer because there's so much texture on my skin right now because of the Morpheus. I had never heard of Morpheus, but apparently it's like Kim Kardashian's like favorite facial treatment or something, somebody told me. I don't know if that's true. Don't quote me. Um, okay, so my skin is primed. I already had my moisturizer on and SPF and, SPF and everything, so now I'm priming. Also my go-to smoothie in the morning, maybe I'll do another video showing you guys that. And then I'm gonna do foundation to start. So I've been mixing these colors five and a half and five because I'm a little bit in between. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Just putting it on my palm and then, or right, back of my hands. And then using a little like flat foundation brush to dab it first all over. And then I'm gonna blend once I have a little bit all over. I'm not really sure how it's gonna go with covering up this laser microneedling situation I've got on my face, but we're gonna see. <laughs> I'll let you know. It might not be perfect because I don't wanna do too much to my face right now just because I did just do that treatment. Um, I do need to cover it for the dinner that I have tonight unless I wanna look crazy. So I first like to do like cut-up coverage all over so that my skin tone is matching. And I love this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It doesn't cause breakouts. It's very smooth. I would say it's just about finding your color. And then I go in and I dab over my problem areas. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, because that kind of just builds up the coverage. Dab, dab, dab. Okay. Now, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. You wanna be careful because this can cause breakouts, supposedly. And I'm getting a battery notification, so I might have to finish. Okay, so for shadow, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Legend Muse Luxury Palette, and it looks like this. And it's super old, but I've had this baby forever, and it's just great for like a daytime shadow that you can build on. So I first start by doing that on my eyes. I honestly haven't been wearing eyeshadow at all lately. It used to be like something I did every day, and now I'll just do like mascara and concealer, or just a little light not even liner, like a powder liner, if that makes sense. 
since I'm going to do this video for you guys, I'm gonna just do a quick shadow for you. So I just did the darkest color there on the crease. I'm gonna skip the sparkles that maybe I could bring back for when it's nighttime, but for day, I'm gonna skip it. And I'm gonna go in with this color here with a little brush and just bring it below my eyes. I'm a shadow, but below the eyes kind of gal. Not for everyone. And then for liner, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna do a full liner. I'm just gonna do a powder liner. So I have like a dark brown, you could do black, and I have an angled brush here. I'm gonna get it a little bit wet, the brush, dip it in the powder, and then do a little, I find this easier than like gel or any other eyeliner. It's like less of a commitment, and I feel like it looks more natural. Just with the powder, it's not so harsh. And it's more forgiving. Like the other one, if you fuck up, it's like RIP to your whole face, you know? This one, if you screw up, I just take a beauty blender and beauty blend it out. Okay. And if you just did what I did, where the powder falls below your eye, then you'll need to go in with a Q-tip. Cause sometimes that happens with this powdery liner. It's like the powder falls. That's okay, because we're gonna go with more concealer. Okay, more concealer. Tired mama needs it. Okay, I'm happy. I need to curl my lashes. Most important step. My all-time favorite mascara is this Unlocked Mascara. Um, it's funny, because in my mirror, I look very even, but in here, I don't look even. Hoping that it's just the light in here. But unlocked. Hourglass is my favorite. It's so good. And it doesn't smudge. Are you guys enjoying looking at my nose? <laughs> Sorry about that. And then I'm um, also a bottom lash mascara gal. Not everybody is. Okay. And voila. Now a setting spray. I saw this girl use this on TikTok for textured skin and I thought it was amazing. It's the Hydrating Face, face Mist by Mana Kadar. And you're gonna really wet your face. Okay. And then let it completely dry. You're gonna wet your face more than you like ever would think you would because it kind of like melts everything in. And then for liner, I'm using Malibu Lip Liner. And I'm just gonna blend it a little bit but I'm gonna put something over it. This is like my holy grail, always in my bag, is the Dior Rosy Glow. It's like a lip balm and a lip tint in one. And because this is a day look, I don't want it to be like a lipstick. The, the lip liner adds color and this just adds like smoothness, <laughs> gloss. Okay, so my face is dried and then I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. And you're gonna take a decent amount and you're gonna put it on your palm. And then that's gonna be like your setting powder. But like, it really just kind of fills in. I don't know if you can tell how smooth my skin looks after I blot it. But I don't know what it is after setting with the spray and then this on top just really gives you like this blurred a little on my forehead. And yes, I have the white powder here. I guess you could, I don't even know if it tinted, but the white one just, if you feel like it makes you too white, you can always just go in with your bronzer and wash again, but I feel like I'm okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna get dressed. Well, I'm gonna take my hair down, which is a look right now because I slept on it a little wet last night and it's like, so I'm just gonna, Dry shampoo. My hair is my lazy thing right now. Push that in and then get this bad boy out. All right, while that's heating up, I'm just gonna go slip something else on and then I'll show you how I get my hair. Okay, so I'm back. I just want some jeans and this little top. I'll show you my final look that I'm done. But I'm gonna basically just crimp up the pieces right around my face just to add a little bit more texture because I so much texture everywhere else that I just need to add a little bit back in. So crimp, crimp. And I really don't feel like curling my hair, but I want some flats because this thing's so wide. 
but it really gets a lot of surface area. One clamp. Okay, so that's one side, now I'm just gonna the other side. Okay, so I just quickly did both sides. That's gonna be my look for the day. I'm not even gonna hairspray it. Let me show you my outfit and yeah. All right, this is my look. Just running out to run errands. My tag is Simonette. My jeans are made, I guess. Um, yeah, this top is a little bit more risque than I would imagine. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. And I'm really gonna try to do more vlogs, but all of your love and support in my vlogs means I'm gonna do the vlogs more. So keep commenting, keep subscribing, keep liking, and let me know what kind of content you wanna see, but I'm gonna really try to get better at this.